Welcome back, friends. We've got week four vault on a single tune. This week, we actually had a vault on like two other tunes, but they were very low keys. Slash, my DK vault had a, uh, a 304 log, so that was cool. But uh, other than that, I just farmed up some moats. I was just going to open the one vault and talk about like two or three things. Um, but yeah, so again, prot spec, we kind of want anything we got a. Uh, Heraldry last week in the Time Walker box, which was cool. But honestly, I, I still think I run Aegis in, in every key until I can buy one, which will be next week. And uh, if the quest is still the same, we're going to be able to buy both the second and third items, because I think the third quest is five rated, rated raid bosses. Hmm. Anyway. Yeah, go for like a shield, an armor piece, really kind of anything. All right, so let's go with the stuff we're not going to take. We know we're not taking this because this is like a normal. Yeah, don't want that. Don't want that, but that's Mog. But we take moats before Mog, I think. And uh, shoulders with no tersh. So we're not, we're not touching that. But like, you know. Very cool. Uh, more boots. The exact boots I'm wearing, so that kind of sucks. An indestructible chest, which uh, is definitely the front runner for the items right now. I don't even have to catalyze it. It's kind of the lame tertiary, but and then more boots. So these boots are slightly better, but I can always catalyze the ones I'm wearing to get uh, verse haste, which... Uh, it's essentially the same thing, so we're not messing around with any of that. We're just going to take the chest. We have to recraft uh, Unity, and I think we're going... So, pretty sure the deal is now we're going Unity on, like, you know, double rings or neck, if you can. So, like, my Mythic Plus can be a ring or shoulders, and we've moved that back to ring, or, you know, we've had the ring forever. And then, um, you know, Unity can go anywhere. And seeing as how I have a very nice ring that I could socket. Um, and a, a neck that's okay, but, you know, I don't really want that much crit. I definitely just go Haste Mastery on a crafted neck and, uh, and replace that. So, you know, a lot of swapping around. Good thing the Shadow Gas pieces are pretty reason. I'm glad I didn't upgrade this either. I did enchant it, though upsetting but yeah we'll go chest piece I had the monger already and then once we recraft but yeah you want to go uh, jewelry typically because you're not going to lose any uh, primary and the secondary scaling from jewelry is like way low um, or sorry 20 stat 341 so 20 stat and and any other piece you're dropping stam and armor i mean you get your dropping stam here what's the stam difference dropping 30 stam too but um but yeah jewelry is less impact i guess i have to find another socket for my movement speed gem oh i guess we'll just go with the oh yeah the lego because it'll come with the free socket also not a you know not a bad bonus i mean i already had a socket here right but um pretty crappy neck Anyway, that'll be cool. Secondly, there was like a potential leaks about pre-patch date and then subsequently expansion date and then like raid dates. And so the the thing I think was uh, pre-patch was going to be coming around October 25th and that was putting the expansion on the leak, I think what, like on the 29th, the week after Thanksgiving? Which, that's cool. It's cool that it's not the week of Thanksgiving, which I believe that's happened before. Uh, but then this also puts Raid at, like, 1, 2. You know, probably the... Either the 6th, if they do one week, which I doubt. They'll probably do, what, 3? 2, 3. The Raid coming out on the 20th, like, or the 13th, or the 6th. Anytime the Raid coming out in December is garbage. Uh, 
and it's not just like a mythic creator thing or a heroic guild and i'm going to tell you right now when a raid comes out in december like it did on in nathria it's the biggest pain in the ass and you basically lose like we even had everybody show up to nathria like as much as possible but it's like people are busy and they can't do other stuff and it's a pain in the butt and people want to like play the game so i don't know i think if they drop the expansion on like the 13th or some shit 20th and then like we didn't get first raid i don't know whatever they, even even on the 20th or the 27th and we didn't get first raid till like the 10th that would be cool even the third drop the raid on the third that'd be cool but man this early mid-december raid nonsense is, is some nonsense uh Moving along, they did nerf the shit out of Lower Kara, uh, Wicket, but since it's not Wicket, um, we are back to the cycle. So it was Wicket, and now we're going to be back to Westfall Story. I think Westfall Story was a little overtuned too, but we don't really know because it was first week and it was on Tyrannical. So this week on Fort, it should be definitely better. I don't know how you switch these things on MBT. I guess they don't. Whatever. Um... But it's certainly not Wicked again for us. Hopefully it's not. Wicked was awful. But they nerfed the shit out of Wicked. Like a third on everything at least. And then um, they cut some other things in half. So very cool. Lowers. That, that basically fixes lower. And, and less West Falls like a big pain in the butt. Because Beauty and the Beast was fine. They nerfed the tank damage there. Which was cool. But uh, And they nerfed Ushers. But again you're still just skipping Ushers. So much up final. And the, the upper Karazhan problem this week is Shade of Mediv. Everybody's worried about what's whether storming is going to spawn during a Flame Wreath. And if it does, basically just auto-wipes your group if it hits somebody with Flame, flame Wreath. So that'll be fun to find out. Oh, I'm sure we'll see a clip on that super duper soon. Other than that, uh, not a bad week. It's just a crappy... Tank uh, storming is a crappy tank week every week, especially with uh, Fort, because you're you're trying to soak some stuff maybe, especially, you know, uh, so it doesn't hit your range sometimes if you're in a cramped hallway. But getting knocked up in the air and having ads like hit under you, right? Like I feel like just they are always just critting you, and uh, you know your back extends to maybe anything that's not on your same z-axis and right in front of you, but. I don't know. It's kind of a pain in the butt. You can do things like Spell Ward and uh, Death Advance. Or you can't AMS. I think you're pretty sure you still get knocked up. But uh, yeah, Storming, Storming is actually awful. But at least the bosses, which are notoriously the rough parts of, of, of Kara, um, aren't going to be fortified. And then everything else is like fine, right? Uh, Iron Dox was going to be kind of rough with um, some of the tank damage on the last stretch. But honestly, you can always CC a Wrangler. And just CCing a Wrangler, one Wrangler on any of those tough pulls. And Grimrail will likely just suck. Um, storming and Frontals. Also, if you haven't seen it, you can uh, pull Zolgamax before first boss. And the clip that kind of put that out there also had the person uh tagging and resetting the boss and that's not necessarily necessary but the reason they are doing it is because the boss will uh stop patrolling at that point so if you're going to pull Zolgamax first that is probably the smart thing to do uh, you pretty much want somebody with an invis or somebody who can drag them out this way it's dangerous because usually you don't want to pull the overseers or we don't um but if you have a mage, they can tag, they can invis. Rogue can do the same. Hunter can do the same. And then I think what we did was, uh, well, this guy's first, then we Zolgamax, and I think we may even lust on, on Zolgamax, and especially this week since it's not Tyran. Uh, lust on. Although you do double damage on Rocket Spark. Hard to say, but if you're ever having issues with Zolgamax, remind people to blow their cooldowns. Like, nobody should be holding anything for anything. Like, you weren't you blowing stuff up but yeah so Grimrail kind of sucks junkyard's fine it's free there was no junkyard we had one junkyard key last week and that was um that was great it was a lot of fun but we saw no other keys so that was frustrating 
Uh, and if you did Mechagon Workshop and you did the skips, you can do that as long as you pull this extra pack. Um, and either... Natherzoom. This pack, not too bad. Uh, just make sure you're CCing a Mechanic and a Tinkerer, maybe. Just... It's going to go so much longer with if those things are both up. Just do that. Kill your infiltrator. You kind of always want to target those first because they regen health via the leech. Vampiric claws. Oh, interesting. Yeah, always good to read tooltips. But yeah, um, they do regain health based on the leeching claws they hit the tanks with. So when you are fighting those, it is... Usually best to get rid of them first because their, you know, 1 million health will turn into 1 1.2, 3, 4, 5, you know, eventually 2 mil. If, if it's the last thing you kill, it'll probably double its health just based on healing. So, you know. But it should be a fun week. Bosses aren't going to trash you as much in, in cars. And uh, everything else is great. Streets and Gambit, no issues. Like the most functional dungeons. But I think the WAD dungeons are actually... Standing up pretty well. Anyway, that's it for this week. I uh, just wanted to touch on a couple things. Probably do some more commentary stuff uh, and route videos since we've uh, already changed some stuff. But thanks for watching. Sub if you want to sub. Like if you liked the video. Downvote if you didn't like it. And uh, we'll catch you in the next one, guys. Peace.